Hello, hello. This is Maddie with Junk in the Trunk by Maddie, and we are going to be doing a Dollar Tree Junk Journal Challenge. All of these cute things you're seeing are from Dollar Tree. This journal is going to be 100% made from items I found at Dollar Tree. So here you see me taking apart these little uh, Valentine bags. So actually, I had the idea to use these brown paper bags um, with the cute little designs on them as my signature. So you're gonna see me cutting these apart. I believe there are five or six of them and I'm just gonna be cutting them apart and turning them into the signatures. This is a great way to save money when junk journaling. Um, I know that there are a lot of you out there that are probably like on a strict budget and Dollar Tree is the way to go. I think total, I might have spent $25 gathering all of these items. And truly I could make three or four journals with the items that I got. So I'm just making one today, but really I will have a ton of leftover items that I can use later on. But it really is a great way if you don't wanna break the bank, but you still wanna be able to junk journal. So here I'm showing you how to pull those bag handles off. Um, it was super simple. It doesn't take anything special. I'm just kind of pulling them off, but I'm being very mindful not to rip the underneath layers. So it really was that simple and I'm done. And it didn't take hardly any time at all to rip those little handles off. So I got these cute little Valentine cards that I decided I wanted to uh, include in my signatures in my journal. Um, so I got, I think I got four cute little Valentine cards and I'm just going to sandwich them. I'm gonna do the brown paper bag and then a card and then a brown paper bag and then a card until they're all sandwiched together. And y'all look at this cute little turtle card. Oh my gosh, it was killing me with cuteness. Okay, so once they are all sandwiched together, you can see it's a really nice thick little journal. It's gonna make a cute little journal. And of course my little bear bear had to come and visit for a minute. <laughs> Okay, so what I wanted to do with the journal cover, which is the one I'm working on now, I wanted to thicken up the, um, the journal cover. So I decided the easiest way was going to be to take those little Valentine card envelopes and put them to good use and glue them to the inside cover just to kind of thicken it up and make it a little bit stiffer. And also it created a cute little pocket that I can um, add little ephemera to later on. the junk journal cover Dollar Tree style. Now I'm just going to decorate the cover a little bit and give it a little bit of a flare. Y'all know how I like my flare. And those gnomes were perfect. So here I brought you over to the sewing machine because I felt like the cover needed extra. It was just lacking. So I got some of that netting stuff and some cute little ribbon with hearts on it. And I just sewed it right onto the cover. As you can see, a nice straight stitch, nothing special. And now I'm going to add my signature and doesn't that just look so cute? So the next step is going to be decorating the inside. I normally decorate my pages before I bind them in case I wanted to, you know, add some sewing or some stitching or it just makes it easier to get to the page if I can pull that part of the signature out of the book and work on it if I need space. Um, these cute little hearts on a stick, I'm making a bookmark with oh my gosh it turned out so cute that was my daughter's idea she found those little hearts at dollar tree and she says mom we can make bookmarks so that's what we did that was sis's idea and actually i did end up stitching the edging just a little bit on that gnome because it was just not wanting to stick so later on whenever you see that i did stitch it okay so i'm using these little see-through bags it's like vellum right so it was like see-through and I thought, oh my gosh, this would be the cutest little pocket. So I used a couple of those and I made pockets with them. 
and then I added little ephemera to go inside the pocket. And I do end up sewing this pocket on because y'all know how that, um, that material is. It does not take to glue very well, so I did sew it. But look at that little pocket, isn't that cute? Now, I had to cover up all of the little spots on the brown paper bags where I had pulled off the handles. And so you'll see me um, throughout this signature, just kind of like adding little things over top of the imperfections at the top of the pages where those handles were. So here I added a little pocket and just a simple little um, piece in there that you could write on. We'll be stuffing this later on. I didn't stuff it very thick this time, this first time through. So here you are, you see the, the little um, imperfection at the top of that page. So we're just going to figure out how to cover that. <clears throat> Lots of little pockets added throughout this journal. This journal had so many pockets. It turned out so cute. And what's a junk journal without those pearl beads? I end up adding those to every single journal I work on. In some form or fashion, there are pearl beads in my journals. <laughs> I just think it's the cutest little addition. So lots of spots to write in this journal. Okay, so these are those little window stickers and I just got this random idea. I was like, well, maybe if I add glue, it'll hold. And it actually did end up holding. Um, it's really cute. Once the glue dries, you can't see the glue underneath it. So actually that worked out really good. <clears throat> And I added so many pockets and I used all of those envelopes that I got. So nothing went to waste. I absolutely love using envelopes in junk journals. And here you see me adding just a little extra color to that envelope. I didn't want them all to look the same. There's my Bobo. He came to say hi to everyone. He was in his lucky charm uh, pajamas. Isn't he so cute? So as you can see, this Dollar Tree Junk Journal Challenge actually went really, really well. It turned out so cute. Every bit of it is from Dollar Tree. I just cannot believe it. My daughter was like, oh yeah, we're doing a Dollar Tree Challenge. And I said, oh no, I don't know if this is going to turn out very well. But look at how cute it turned out. Um, yeah, we're going to be stuffing this with a lot more ephemera later on. Um, I just wanted to be able to fit the video within a 10 minute time span. Look at that cute little bookmark. So we will be adding more stuff to it. Um, I did add a few little things here and there, but I feel like it needs a lot more. So we're gonna be making some cute little ephemera pieces this week to put inside this journal to extra stuff it. You guys know how I like to do that with my journals. I just cannot believe every bit of this is from Dollar Tree. Look, I even made a little Look, I even made a little house paper clip like you guys like. <clears throat> super, super cute. That is a cute little journal. Now I think we're gonna bind it. We're gonna poke our holes and we're gonna bind it just with some twine. We're not gonna do anything fancy. I did think about making some paper beads, but I just decided we'll just go ahead and bind it like I normally do. And you just stab it through and then you get it on the needle and you sew it in. You guys know this process. So as y'all can see, this Dollar Tree Junk Journal Challenge was an absolute success. So thanks sis for the idea. It turned out absolutely adorable and better than I thought it was going to turn out. Look at how beautiful and thick that journal is. Okay, guys, well, if you haven't already liked and followed our page, I would appreciate it if you did that here on Facebook, but you can also search our name, Junk in the Trunk by Maddie, on all major social media platforms, such as YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. You can find us on all of those platforms, and we would love a, fo a follow and a like. Um, we are so appreciative of all of our followers and we're so proud of the channel that we have built and we hope to see you guys back here on Friday because we're going to be working on our Barbie journal. That's going to be our giveaway once we reach 5,000 followers.